Welcome to Roofing It Right with Dave and Wally. I'm Dave. This is Wally. <laughs> and we are looking at our top 10 list. On this this uh, curve here, the flashings have to go eight inches high. It's pretty much an industry standard. So that's not a GIF rule per se? No, it's an industry standard. Okay. This needs to be eight inches high. Let's see what this is. How come I got to crawl under that? Well, here you are. You've been. So we're about... I'm going to get the even benefit of five inches to the top of this curve. Yeah. You have to go to the top of the curve, not just what you can see, but top of the curve. So my advice to, to any contractor out there is that's fine. I will roof it. Uh, but odds are the manufacturer is going to come out, the inspector, and he's going to look at that. What one word do you think is going to say to, to the contractor about that specific area regarding the warranty? He's going to have to exclude it from the warranty. Yeah, so you heard that word exclusion. Right. Do building owners want to hear exclusions on warranties or general contractors? No. On this building, we have in we have drains, inside drains. If the drain would plug up, what's, where's the water going to go? It's going to back up and run right down over the curb and right the building. So we have other curbs and flashings on this roof. This happens to be a little exception. I think there might be one over there. We have other curbs and penetrations and, and flashings on this roof that are you could definitely over eight inches. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This might have been an after effect addition. I have no idea how well this got there, but um, they look fairly good than the other ones. Just mm -hmm. somebody that bothered build them up. Right. 